Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. A snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for you Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I would love it if you would subscribe and be part of my little family here on YouTube. Um, I'm really excited about today's video because I am sharing all of our Christmas decorations and everything we have up. I will explain where we got things, if I can remember them. Um, and hopefully it inspires you if you're still decorating for Christmas yourself. So make sure to stay tuned towards the end because I will give you a little um, peek at what it looks like at night because of course I think that's when it's most beautiful. Um, I really try to go for like a cozy, warm feeling. When anyone comes in the door, I want them to feel very, very welcome and warm and just wanting to get on the couch, have coffee and chat. So that is like my goal when I decorate. So. Hopefully that's kind of what you get when you watch this. So let's get started. Um, on our front door, we have this beautiful wreath from Walmart. It is lit up, but um, it is, of course, daytime, so you can't see it. But once you walk in, this is the view you see. It is our dining room. And then we have our entranceway. If you saw my um, dining room makeover, um, you will see kind of like the before and after if you haven't checked out that video make sure to it's really really neat the before and after but all I did here was I just hung up a Christmas wreath and that is from Walmart and then I just added this pillow which is from at home and everything is the same so I would love to put like a little Christmas tree here in the corner like a really skinny one but we're not gonna spend any more money. But anyway, I just love this wreath. I think it's so pretty and perfect for this little space. First on the door, um, I just have this little Santa that I've had for a few years now. It was a gift and um, I just hang on the door. He is soft, so he doesn't like bang against the door, which is nice. And then onto the dining room. This is one of my favorite places to decorate because it's the first thing that people see when they walk in. So let's start over here on our shelf. Um, the lantern is the same and then that little Christmas tree is from Hobby Lobby. The Noel sign is from Hobby Lobby. I love this Noel sign, I think it's perfect. I kept the basket that we had originally had up there and I just stuck this in front of it. And then I had the glitter tree from Big Lots and then that tall tree is from Hobby Lobby. And then we have this tiny little um, flocked Christmas tree in the corner. Um, I love this. I did the same thing as you'll see in my living room with some picks. I just decorated it with some um, kind of gold, copper, silver um, ornaments throughout. And then there's a few of these little gold picks right here. Um, I'm not really sure if they make a huge difference, but I would like to, I'd like to have like more substantial picks at the top and everything, but I really don't want to buy anything else for this tree, at least this year. And then at the bottom is just this faux fur um, tree skirt that I found on Amazon. I'll leave it below and it's perfect for this size tree. It's really hard to find a small skirt, but this is perfect. And then we've got the dining room table. This runner is from Hobby Lobby, I believe, last year. And just ignore the um, orange paint. 
<laughs> I'd like to replace this because they, of course, got orange paint on the runner, but we'll see if I find anything. Um, this is just a centerpiece that I went with. Pretty simple, um, not a whole lot to the table, but that's how I like it. Um, I This is the same centerpiece as I did last year, and um, I basically re... I just did the exact same thing. Have The only difference is this tree was a fir tree that I now have in the living room, but everything else is the same. I got these little balls, I believe, at Hobby Lobby, as well as a sign. I'm pretty sure everything from here is Hobby Lobby. Uh, this little snowman, I believe, is from Big Lots. All this is from last year, though, and these are just two little picks that I put in there, and then this candle. This is the um, winter candle from Bath and Body Works, and it is, I can't really get a good picture, but it is my absolute favorite. Um, it's the perfect smell. I, I like it because it's what people smell when they first walk in, so. And then over here across from the dining room table, we have our buffet table. And I put this little red Christmas tree on the side. I had it, I really didn't know what to do with it, but um, I decided to just kind of put it down here. It was on top, right there in the corner, but it was too, the lights were too, um, they clashed. So I just put it down there for now. Um, this little peace sign, I believe is from At Home. And the garland I have had for several years. It's a pine cone garland and we put lights in it. But this year, the this side of the lights went out, and once I started to try to take it off the strand, it was really, really hard. So I was like, forget it. And I just threw on another, I think it's like a 20 light strand, and just put it on top. I will deal with that at the end when I <laughs> de-Christmas. But um, my mom, last year, she threw these red berries. It was actually like a garland wrapped around, and she just untangled it and threw the berries on top. And I did the same thing this year. I love that because it kind of ties in with the Santa. The Santa is like a tin, metal tin um, little guy, and I believe I got him as a gift. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. If not, he's from Hobby Lobby. But uh, I think everything looks good on there. And then my absolute favorite sign. This is actually available in my shop. I sell a ton of these every Christmas. It's a printable, so you literally download it and print it out how you want. Um, it comes in a, lots of different sizes, but this is, um, I actually, and ignore this, I have to like touch up, but it was from Brielle's party, the sign like ripped off the paint. But anyway, um, I just have a frame from Michael's and I took the plastic that goes normally on the front and I put it behind the chalkboard piece and this is a, let's see, it's a 24 by 36 size, and I just printed it out. You can print it out on what's called um, engineering paper, and it's really cheap. I think it's like $3. It's super cheap, and it's great for chalkboard pieces because it makes it look a little bit more authentic. Um, but I like leaving the glass, or the plastic, in this case it was plastic, but I like leaving the glass behind it when you do chalkboard because it makes it look more realistic. And I always get tons of compliments on this every year when I have it up. So, I love it. And this is our hallway that is right off the entryway. Um, and all I did for Christmas is that little shovel down there. I just hung it up on that door. This is our little gallery wall that I did about a month or two ago. I still love it. Um, those are just uh, frames from Walmart and I just stuck some of our favorite pictures in there. Love it. But this is um, a little snow shovel that my mom got me. I believe she got this. I wanna say she got it at Hobby Lobby or I can't remember where she got this, but anyway, I, maybe it was a thrift store. You know what? It was, it was a thrift store. My mom is the queen of shopping at thrift stores and finding the cutest stuff. I mean, how cute is that at a thrift store? I'm sure it was like two bucks. So anyway, I just hung it up there. I thought it was, you know, neat to add a little bit of decor to the hallway. Um, and then in the kid, this is the kid's bathroom slash guest bathroom. So the lighting's terrible, but, um, 
So it's really hard. I have to, I clean this, I clean it almost every night, if not more than that, especially the toilet. I have, you know, two boys. So anyway, <clears throat> all I added was this cute, cute little shower curtain. Usually I just keep up my white one, but I saw this at Big Lots and I thought it was a pretty good price. I think it was maybe $10. Um, and so I thought the kids would love this and I don't know, I think it's cute. It's the same like grays and whites in this bathroom. So I thought it went well. Um, and then all I did was added this little joy, these joy letters to this shelf. Um, nothing fancy. I just kept my little bath up there. It's kind of wordy, like letters, letters, but it doesn't really bother me. So we're going to keep it. And then over here, um, I didn't do anything really Christmassy. I will probably, I might switch this out and put like more Christmassy things in there. I do have some lambs here that I love for Christmas. I might put that in there. Um, and I'll probably change out the soap to a Christmas soap, but I do want to use that up. And I will most definitely put a Christmas candle in here as well. But you guys, this smell from Bath & Body Works, the bergamot waters is like, I, it's so hard for me to get away from this scent because it's, it is my favorite candle that they have. So if you are looking for something for a bathroom or just anywhere in the house, it smells so good. So anyway, I really didn't do anything Christmassy, but I might add um, something Christmas in this corner as well as the soap. But that's it for the bathroom. As you walk in here, this is the living room. The lighting's really bad when I put it against the window, of course, but uh, this is a little overview of our living room. And we will start, let's start over here. Okay, so this is, I just put a couple of um, throw pillows on our sofas. I would love more, but I've kind of cut myself off from spending anything else. So we're just gonna go with this, maybe get some after Christmas on sale. Um, I believe I got these at Hobby Lobby um, and then I got this blanket absolutely love this blanket it is the softest blanket ever um, oh it's really really soft and I got this at Kirkland's and then um, just on our little side table we just have this little Santa and Mrs. Claus over there where I got that at Walmart last year and then over here on our entertainment center I just put a flock to garland um, from Walmart and then I just put some um, gold and silver ornaments inside of it which I had from last year. These two trees my mom gave me but they are from Hobby Lobby um, and I just stacked those over here as well as this tree that I got I believe at Big Lots a couple years ago. It actually lights up but I'm not lighting it this year and I just kind of anchored both ends with the trees. And then of course, just the garland, very simple. I love um, garland with lights in it. And I usually do that on our fireplace, but I decided to change it up this year. So speaking of onto our fireplace, um, we have the stockings. These stockings are all new. Well, that one right there is um, from Pier 1 last year. And the reason we have new stockings this year is because um, we had four stockings from Personal Creations that had our names on it, and then we had a baby. And we were very unsure if we were going to have a third, and so when I got the Personal Creations one, I thought, well, it'll be fine, we won't have a third. And then we had a third. So um, I got that for her last year, but I kept the Personal Creations last year knowing that I was going to change them up. So I got these stockings. They're all kind of furry. Um, of course, that's Ryan's and mine. This one's like a white fur. This one um, is Beckham's and that's Maddox's. It's like a sweater material. And then Brielle's, which is another fur one. And then up here, I just have this S that I normally always have and I just stuck a little tree. I'm not even sure where that's from. Maybe Target, Dollar Spot or something. I can't remember, um, or Big Lots. Oh, I don't know. Um, so I just stuck that behind there. And then um, I had these, all of our um, stockings were on a little, just plain gold stocking holders. 
and I only had four so I went and got another one it's not quite the same color but I just stuck it up there my original plan was to do like really decorative stocking holders um, but then I had these little picks and so I just stuck those on top to um, kind of give a little bit of a garland look to it um, they've kind of got a little bit of sugar coating on them, a little sparkle and then over here we've got um, a little fir tree this was on our dining room last year. I love this. I believe it's from Hobby Lobby. I think both of these are from Hobby Lobby. Um, that one, the Santa though, my mom got me last year for Christmas. I love him. I think he's so cute. So that is our mantle. to mention above the TV we have that little Merry Christmas sign that was something that I literally saw in Hobby Lobby and I just I ran over I grabbed it I put it in my cart I did not even think about it I absolutely am in love with that piece to the Christmas tree. Um, this is my absolute favorite thing in the house. Um, of course, it's the main focal point of Christmas, but well, de decor wise. So I got this flocked tree at Walmart. Um, it was only $169, so a really great deal. And I got that little tin, um, the metal tin tree holder, I guess you will, from Michaels. And I just stuck, because it was kind of, um, you could kind of see into it, I just stuck some little fake snow in it so that if anyone did peek into it, they wouldn't see the Christmas stand. Um, and all I did, well, it was a pre-lit tree, so it already came lit. And all I did was decorated it with our silver and gold ornaments from last year. The only new ornaments I got were these, and I'm obsessed with them. I like this, these are so awesome. They come in a pack of six at Hobby Lobby, but you know, to decorate your whole tree is going to be really expensive. So I only got six of them and I kind of, put, you know, spread them out throughout. I love them. I also stuck some picks. This was the first year I did like picks at the top. I'm always afraid to do that. To be honest, I'm really afraid to decorate the tree because I'm such a perfectionist that it's hard to, the process is hard because I can't see the finished product, but I love the picks. These picks right here, I don't know if you can really see them. They've kind of got pine cones on them. Um, that's kind of a better view, but they've got pine cones on them and they're kind of like frosted little wood, woody sticks. And I got four of those. Those are from Hobby Lobby and I could not find any more when I went back. So when I was at, when I was at the store at home, I found these like pearl sticks. They come three in a pack and I just stuck those in as well. And I think it kind of added a little bit more texture and it was different. So I really, really like how the picks turned out at the top. And I kind of just sprinkled them throughout as well. And I did grab um, a few of these to, to kind of fill in any sparse little places in the tree. Um, and then we've got this kind of pick right here from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if I'm like a huge fan of these in this tree, but we're just going with it. And then I also got these little um, like frosted glittery picks from at home. So that is our tree. And right next to the tree, we just have this, um, this is actually a filing cabinet that goes in my office, but there's no more room in my office anymore because I rearranged some things and my mom was like, hey, why don't you put it by the tree and the chair? And you know, then you've got a little um, stand to put like drinks and stuff like that. And I was like, no, I just, I don't know, that's going to like be really squished. And of course she, I left for somewhere and she went ahead and just did it. And I love it. So thank you, mom. But all I have on here is, um, I got this little joy candle holder, which has no candles in it yet. I got that at big lots. And then my mom gave me this little frosted tree for another place in my house, which did not work out. So I just stuck that back there. And this is like one of my favorite little Christmas decorations. I've had it for years. My husband's aunt gave this to me and he's like a little bendy snowman. You can like bend him and everything. Um, oh, he's just so cute. I love him. So 
I just stuck him up there as well and there are supposed to be some um, little drink holders, coasters right there that are Christmassy from several years ago, but I'm sure the boys moved those, so, but that goes there as well. Door. I just stuck up this little, um, I guess it's not really a, well, a wreath, I don't know. It's not circular, but whatever this little thing is, I got this um, as a gift several years ago and I just stuck him up there. Okay, and then um, across from our living room is our kitchen. And right before you walk into the kitchen, we have this little candy jar. I just stuck some Hershey Kisses in there as well. Um, and then we've got, I was pretty minimal in the kitchen. But, um, let's start right here. This piece is pretty much the main decor in here. And I just have all this. This is from Target. Not the dollar spot, but it is from Target. As well as this. Uh, my candles are all from Bath and Body Works. And then these two trees came in a package of three. And I just paired it with that white tree that I got from Target. The dollar spot. counters I just have that um, Christmas sign that I've had for years and I just stuck it behind there because I try to cover up the ugly plugs um, we do plan on redoing our backsplash but that is a ways down the road so I just stuck that behind the fruit bowl and then here in the corner we've got um, the lamp that's always there and my plant that's always there I could put a little Christmas tree there but um, and then this sign is from my friends Shelly and Kristen um, from their little wood shop called Judith and Mahalan. I just stuck that in a corner. And then I always have that little warmer going on. Let's see what else we have. And then I just have this little candle um, holder that my mom put there with, I think this is spiced ginger, spiced gingerbread. Uh, it smells really good. I just busted out all my Christmas candles. I had fall. And to be honest, I'll probably burn all the fall ones before I burn these again. But And then here's my little coffee station. Um, I found this cute little mug at Walmart for like three or four dollars. I thought that was so cute. So I'll be drinking out of that. And then right here, we've got, um, that is a sign that I made, but I actually don't like it right now because I need to, here, let me see if I can get a better view. I need to um, take out, like put the glass behind the chalkboard and make it an 11 by 14 instead so it looks more like a chalkboard look but I just have that behind there if I end up doing that before I post this video I'll put a little picture of it but um, so that is just really the only touch right there that I have on the coffee bar we've got my brand new hutch that I DIY I could not believe I did this because I'm not a very good DIYer but I got this hutch um, on the Facebook marketplace it was brown and I painted it with chalk paint and um, yeah, so I'm like obsessed with how this came out. I haven't even decorated it yet with normal stuff because I got this right before Christmas. So um, up there is just a home sweet home sign from Kirkland's. It's not Christmassy, but I didn't want to get another Christmas sign and then switch it out in a couple months. So that was just some old garland that I had and I put the it already had lights on it. It's not pre-lit, but it already had lights. And then this garland is from, um, I love these. They're like little burlap balls. And I got that at Hobby Lobby. It's just like one strand of garland and we just threw that on up there. Honestly, really haven't played with this garland, so it's kind of lopsided, but I'll fix it later. And then um, we've got this little plate right here from Walmart. Um, this is from Big Lots. And I just stuck this plant that I believe is from Target. I just stuck that in the middle and some candy canes on the side. Um, this is the other tree that my mom, she got me two. And this is the other one. I stuck that over here with my little reindeer sign, which I believe is from Big Lots. This little candle, which obviously is useless because I can't burn it, is from Big Lots, but I loved the container it was in. I thought it would be perfect over here. And it's just on a little cake stand from Target Dollar Spot. And this is probably my favorite purchase this year, minus the tree, because the tree is new. Um, this is like a little sign from 
at home the store at home it's always confusing when I say that but I got this at home and I love it it was like ten dollars it's my favorite purchase uh, it's just oh, it's so cute and then the milk for Santa jug is from Walmart last year and then this little um, tin can is from Big Lots I believe let me double check nope oh, that doesn't help I think it's from Big Lots or at home um, I think it's from Big Lotso. And then I just stuck that Ikea plant inside of it. And then down here is my precious nativity scene um, from the uh, Willow Tree Angels. My, I got um, half of it from my mom and half of it from my mother-in-law. And I just love the simplicity on this hutch. This isn't really where I had originally wanted it, but I'm going to keep it here this year. We'll see about next. but. I just, I love it. I'm slowly collecting the pieces and I just think everything turned out really beautifully. I'm really, really happy with this space. This nook is our table. It's gonna be kind of hard to show this because of the lighting. It's always hard when you're filming against windows, but I have this um, little tablecloth from Big Lots. And then this tree is, let me see if I can get a good lighting oh it's not even showing up how i want but it is really really beautiful and um it's kind of like frosted i don't know if you can see it but it's frosted and it's really really heavy this is from hobby lobby and it was five dollars on sale so great price <laughs> these are from target i have the same thing on both sides um and yeah just very simple. They kind of go with the centerpiece of the table. I do plan on putting like a bow down here, but I haven't found the ribbon that I want yet for that. So I thought just very simple, but I love it. And I forgot to show you guys this when I was showing you the kitchen, but I just have all the kids seeing the pictures up here on our pantry door. Last year I had them in frames and I really loved that but I'm really not sure where to put these this year. So if you have any ideas after seeing this tour, let me know in the comments below because I'm not really sure if I like them on the door, but that's where they are right now. These are so cute from year to year and I'm so glad we have these to look at. And I put a poll on Instagram of whether or not you thought Brielle would cry this year and you guys were right. She cried like a baby. It was so sad and so cute at the same time. And lastly is the boys room. All we have in here is the little people nativity set and a Christmas tree in the corner of their room that they are free to decorate however they want with all the ornaments that they want or that we have that are that they've made over the years. So they really love having a tree in their room this year. Now I'm going to show you our house at nighttime with all the lights on and I really hope you guys enjoyed this home tour. Uh, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and comment below. Let me know what your favorite part of Christmas is, any traditions, and how you like to decorate your house for Christmas. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Because all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas moment will fill with love and joy. It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh. Making plans, what we're gonna do? I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been long and for ya, I just wanna hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon light till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And then we'll